What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net and we're going to start of Adobe Edge Animate CC. Now, this is the most recent version of CC, so if you do not have this version of CC, you have to have it in order to do what I'm getting ready to show you. Now, this comes in from a, a question uh, by Des Wright who sent this in about 2.20 a.m. And I thought I stayed up late. Says my man Wayne, what's up, Des? I watch all your EA vids. I need help adding an embedded player, music player, into my project. And please add, thank you, please and thank you. So basically, uh, I'm just learning how to use this. This is the first time that I've actually used it, and uh, there's not really a lot of documentation out there for it yet, and uh, so I'm just basically been playing around with it and so this is basically what we're gonna be doing here uh, this is a play pause and a mute and you can click on play you can target it come on off the uh, way well, if you play it you can hit pause and then you come over here and hit mute and then unmute it mute it unmute it and so basically that's what we're gonna be doing and uh, let's go ahead and create a new project and uh, we're going to save this uh, to uh, let's see here lesson audio and we're going to copy that one over to there we're going to save it to here okay now once we save it it's automatically going to pick up on our audio don't worry about into the night can't play that copyright so anyway, um, we've got our our car audio right here. So what we got to do is that we first we got to drag it onto our stage, and you can't see it. Now you can come over here and you can click on toggle, and that will actually load this player right here to where you can actually run the player, and then you can actually use the player like so. And so you've got that option to you, which also gives you a volume slider and uh the mute and everything which this is a pretty neat way to do it if you want to add that kind of audio but if you want to do everything to where it's all you then um we can come over here and we can uh let's do one and we can add two and three so we can come over here add in text here this can be play and drag and drop that on top of there and then come over to this one and then we can do this one as pause and then the very last one we can do mute okay so uh, let's go to this one and so them two go together and then to go together just come over here and rename our stuff so this one right here is pause this is pause text this one right here is mute and this is the mute text and this right here is our play and this is our play text Okay, so we did, do not want it to show our own, so we're going to cut it off. And we'll come over here to our play button, and we're going to click on action, then on click. And then uh, for everybody that just came into the new CC version, we've got a lot of extra goodies inside of this section that we didn't have before. And what we're looking for is this one. We've got play audio. And then we've got to toggle, which is play and pause. And that's what we want. We want to be able to play and pause. And now we change this to car, which is the name of our car audio layer here is car. So 
this is going to give us the ability to click on play and click on pause so let's go ahead and click OK come over here to our mute click and then we're going to come down here we're going to toggle mute now you can either change it to just plain mute which is right here or toggle I like to be able to toggle it I just think that's pretty cool and then we come over here to pause click drag it down and then we can do pause audio we can pause audio from which gives you a second you can actually pause it from a second so we're going to do pause audio by itself is there a toggle uh yeah which is the same thing as the other one so we're just going to choose just pause audio here oops and now whenever we run it we've got play click it again and it stops it play click on pause it stops it and then come over here to mute mute off mute on and so basically that is how you add in audio into your project now the more I learn about it the more videos I will put up about it but right now this is just simple uh, there's not going to be really a download source for this because it's not really that complicated you just follow these steps and good to go gotta make sure that you got the newest version of CC if you don't have the newest version, you cannot use the audio, so you got to have it. All right, Wayne Barron here with DarkFix.net inside of Adobe Edge Animate CC, the most recent version. Y'all have a rocking time now. Bye-bye.